My name is Eric Wagner. I'm the defensive line coach at the University of St. Francis. This is my third full year of coaching, and I had one year as a student assistant, and I also played here for four years. We have a young group of guys, uh, minus Hardister being our senior, but a lot of them are freshmen, sophomores, uh, redshirt sophomores that have only played in a few games. Very very athletic. I think the biggest thing is these games, you know, we're going to learn from them. The guys are going to grow and mature, and I think we start hitting our stride at the right time. You know, defensive line wise, team wise, I think you can see everybody start to come together. I think we'll be, we'll be a really tough team. Hi, my name is uh, Brian Hardister, a senior, true senior defensive tackle at the University of St. Francis. I've been here for about four years. We've never came together like that. Never. We've never had the defense cheering on offense and the offense cheering on defense just as much. That's what makes championship teams like this. That's what makes it, baby. That's what makes it. Well, I mean, to say that is we actually had people cheering on each other. We had our defense cheering on our offense as much as we had our offense cheering on our defense. Um, typically in the past, we, we'd have a lot of quiet people on the sidelines, and, and I just felt like we just had a lot of good energy going on. Um, during that time, we knew we had, we had some adversity. We knew we were falling behind, and we had to come out on top. So in order to do that, we all had to, to come together. Not everybody could be on the field, but everybody would use their voice to get on the field, basically. And it really showed a lot of our heart and what our team is going to be. I'm Anthony Moore, sophomore, University of St. Francis, defensive end. The whole talk off season was the defensive line was going to be the weak point of the defense. And, um, you know, when you got everything to prove and you, your back's against the wall, there's only one direction to go. So um, expectations were very high. We may be a young team, but we're not immature. That moment right there was just a, uh, just kind of a statement to, for, for ourselves as much as the rest of the nation that we're, we still have a desire to win. And the intangibles that you, you can't teach and you can't coach, um, our defense has that this year. And so the rest is, relatively speaking, comes, comes easy. So um, that, that was a pivotal moment for our defense and it gave our defense the confidence that we needed to, you know, to get to this point that we're at today and hopefully it'll propel us into a great season. One thing, you just can't overestimate the other team. You can't go out thinking that they're just a good team and we're gonna beat them. We have to know that as long as we're playing our football and we're playing to our level, that's a point where we're gonna become better when we're playing as a team and not like, okay, this is a big game, I wanna be the star player. Um, if my teammates are playing their assignment and the ball just happens to come my way, I'm gonna make that play. And I know my teammates are gonna do that too. So, I mean, that's just giving me a lot more confidence. I mean, we were really, we, we knew we had to step it up when it was halftime. We got to locker room, we were like, we need to step this up and we need to pull this game out. So we did. I mean, we, we, did, we did it as a team. I don't feel like I did as an individual and I stepped up as an individual. I just feel like I, I played my role. So I was able to, to have the, reap the benefits that I did. It was going to be passed all the way. They had to score, and uh, their uh, their run had kind of sputtered out at the end there. So it was just a, a fortunate circumstance to where I got to, I just got to, kind of got to pin my ears back and, and, and go get them. And, uh, you know, I, I would love to have finished that game with a sack, but um, it forced a bad throw, and it, it finished the game with us on top. And the challenges that seemed so insurmountable in, in high school, <laughs> And you know the, the, the challenges of, of camp, and you know the big things, the, the playing the games and everything like that. It's you have more of a perspective being in a situation that I was in the Marine Corps, and then coming back and just getting to enjoy yourself and live the dream, and uh, have fun and play football here. I feel like our team isn't playing, playing to their best potential right now, but we are going to. Our, our defense is going to be feeding our offense. Our offense is going to feed our defense every quarter, and once that happens, we are going to be an unstoppable team. It's only going to take a little spark to, to light the fire, and I just, you know, kind of want to send a message that doesn't last forever. You know what, we kind of got to learn as you go. It's uh, learning on the job this year.